everybody. It's Leah Black with Lunch with Leah, except we're having cocktails with Leah. <laughs> Julie and Brandy from Dumb Gay Politics. Hi. Hi. Now, Ben's, we've all had our COVID test like three different times. We can take our mask off, right? Okay. Okay. Yep. We're outside. We want you to keep yours on if you're next to anybody. What's funny <laughs> is I have herpes. <laughs> And we are, I'm almost six feet apart. I'm like two feet apart. <laughs> and we're outside. And we're outside. Yeah. And right. there's a lot of air. Yeah. A lot so, of air. So ha- happy holidays, everybody. This is our COVID Christmas. We're going to stay socially distanced. Mm-hmm. There's only going to be three of us here, plus Brenda and our cameraman. So there's four of us. We're, we have a table. Show them the table down there. Oh, it wow. seats 20 people. And we're going to be 20 feet apart. <laughs> I wish you left it nice. I know. And put so all there's that. On there. Well, anyway, that's whatever. We're, we're not picky. We're going to be different people. Like, yeah. I'm going to sit there and be like someone named, like, Jesse. And okay. then three, an hour later, I'm going to be like Melania. And then <laughs> an hour later, I'll be like whoever. you like whoever well, you want. Well, brought up Melania. What do you think Melania is thinking about not going back to the White House after January the 20th. You know, Leah, <laughs> I don't care. It's me, Melania. My husband is going to leave, and I'm going to leave, too. Do you want to leave? Oh, yes. We are at both house. Where? In Baron, in my parents. Oh. We bought house in uh, Saint-Tropez. With, <laughs> is that uh, the fake or real? <laughs> no, that's not real. Okay. But this I, is your dream. <laughs> my dream is Ivana called me. She said, you come to Saint-Tropez. And I said, you know that. But right. Ivana's the first lady. You're really the second first lady. <laughs> well, okay. That's okay. I don't, I think that I'm really first lady because I am first lady in the White House. Oh, okay. And Ivana is a first lady who'd get raped. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh my God, she did allege that. She did. She took back. I did not because I, um, I never made the Donald Trump uh, that mad at me. I never said, oh, get scalp um, reduction. Yeah, and facelift. Facelift, facelift. Facelift. And then it got crazy with his scalp and his hair and the whole thing. But I did not do that. I gave him Baron. I uh, meet uh, all his friends. I hold hands when he won't. Uh, <laughs> Do you get paid extra for holding hands, or is that part of the deal? It's part of contract, but oh. if it's one hand, one hand holding <laughs> per month, and you know that when <laughs> when we go off the Air Force van, when he tried to hold hand more than one time, that's when I got slapped. No, oh, no. <laughs> and that's when you see me. I say not in contract, beach, and then. Be good. Be good. Oh, my God. Well, you know, people would ask me what I think about this election. Well, first of all, we should be grateful. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. We won. We won. We won. However, he doesn't want to leave. And remember, Michael Moore said six months, a year ago, two years ago, and so did Michael Cohen, that he's not going to leave the White He doesn't want to leave. My dream would be to see Vinman, Lieutenant Vinman, and his brother escort oh, him yes. out in a straight oh, jacket. Be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I think it's going to go to New York, like, when he goes back. I don't think he's going to go back to New York very much, because I think they hate him there. I think they're going to hiss him when he's on the street, yep. number one. Do you one. think he's going to stay in D.C.? No, I think Florida. he's going to go down to Mar-a-Lago largo because oh. he can save on his taxes, number one. Number two... Listen, like they say, L.A. is where you go when you want to be somebody. New York is where you live when you are somebody. And and Miami is where you go when you want to be somebody else. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. It's a sunny place for shady people. He's going to fit right in. Oh, my God. Or you remember when O.J. Simpson, after that murder, and then he got out of jail, he went down to Florida. The girls were hanging on him wanting their picture taken. (laughs) I mean, so he'll just fit right in. And all those psychophant Republicans like dead. Santos that they call him, D E A T H Santos, mm-hmm. uh, that doesn't believe in the mask, nothing's closed, the gyms are open, the indoors open, the outdoors open, and then you got Rubio, the empty suit, and then you got Scott, who, how he got, I, I, that's beyond, because there's so, he gave a deposition about this whole huge in, insurance fraud thing, where he said, I don't recall or took the fifth or whatever it was like 7,000 million times. This is, it's a cesspool down there. Yeah. Well, apparently it's the swamp and they really, they cleaned it up. They cleaned (laughs) up the swamp. They took a vacuum. 
and they all they sucked each other into it. Now they're going to go spit it out, I guess. And I don't know what's going to happen. Ted Cruz. Oh God, he's in Texas, but still. I read that Goldman Sachs is going to move permanently down from New York now that they're all working from home. So they're going to go. Well, to this Florida. is perfect because they'll have the AG in place. They'll have the two senators and they'll have the governor and they'll have the Florida legislature. So they can break all the laws they want, and the chances are they'll, they're they smart enough to just break state law. They won't break the federal laws because then they'll have a problem with the federal government. And they can just go down there and, and you know, be the grifters that they are. <laughs> are you going to be grossed out now that you're Yes, grossed? I'm going to yeah. be grossed out. By the way, I'm wondering, remember when we went to France and they when they left, they took a bunch of stuff with them. They looted a bunch of artwork and stuff out of the place where they visited. Who? Remember wait, that? wait, what? Remember when, when the Trumps were visiting, I think it was France or Germany or one of those places, and when they left, they took a bunch of things that they liked from the either the hotel or where they were staying with them on the plane. I'm just wondering what they're going to try to loot out of the White House, if anything. Oh, well, they're going to try and loot out <laughs> the, the Constitution, yeah, <laughs> the law. Yeah. They're going to yeah. try and take the Bill of Rights. The administration loves Nixon. <laughs> they love Nixon. They love Nixon. What about the pardons? He pardoned Roger Stone. This is what I don't understand. Wow. Yeah, Roger Stone has a Nixon tattoo covering his whole back. He, 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 I mean, it's worth looking into. Make America Great Again is a Reagan um, thing that they said and did. Yeah. That was from, so they stole that from Reagan. It, yeah. Nixon, they're taking every single thing that they're doing with pardons and um the, every crime, every part, <laughs> it's all taken from Nixon's, Nixon's. administration. Yeah, that and was Nixon's. He, he gave him a template of how to do a lot of it. But Trump's it's taken insane. to the next level because he's got these psychopaths around him that are like turning a blind eye because they want the power so much. They want the power so much they're willing to try to overturn an election. I mean, who would have thought? In the, what about Ivanka <laughs> and what's his thought? Jared Kush. Yeah, Jared Like, they're going to Jared Kushner's already trying to like. Yeah, but they bought a piece age. of property down in Miami in Indian uh, Creek, a thirty thousand, thirty million dollar lot, an empty little lot. I was so looking forward to them not being able to get a <laughs> reservation in New York. Oh no! So now they've got Jared Kushner living down there in Indian Creek, which I'm sure all the neighbors are just outraged. Uh-huh. And then they've got his brother with the model living uh, ten minutes oh, that's away, right. Carly Claus, <laughs> ten minutes away <laughs> down there. And then mm. Trump's going to be at Mar-a-Lago holding court, which the neighbors are already suing him, said you signed an agreement that you, no one would live here more than 21 days at a time. He's going to try to live down there. And then he's going to have, you know, all those loony Republicans down there that don't believe in science, don't believe in the math, believe the whole thing is a hoax, Trump believe the herd, immigra- uh, herd um, immunity. immunity, and that's what it's going to be. It's going to, it's going to be from the swamp to the cesspool. Is he the guy t- who's dating his own son? His adopted son. Who? Oh, Matt Gaetz. Yes. Oh, Matt Gaetz. Isn't he yes. in Florida? He's Florida. Yes, he's, he's in Florida. He's the nut that made fun of the virus by putting that... The gas mask. The gas mask. Yep. On. And then he suddenly yes. had an adopted son no one had known That's about. That's 25 or 26 years old. Mm-hmm. That he was had tweeted about years ago do saying, like... Do you find like, that strange? Beyond. Yes. What do you think the girl's story I think is? they're boyfriends. Allegedly. <laughs> I mean, allegedly, and I... You know, well, I'm not. I, I, yeah, I, I mean, look, who cares? Look. I could care less, but I think you should be upfront about it. Well, I, oh, the oh, only goodness. reason I do care is that Matt Gates is a hypocritical, oh, yeah. lying, bigoted yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, and that he can go and he's a yeah. he's talking about sucking Trump's teeth deep. He's <laughs> like he's the yeah. worst. He's one of the worst. Oh my god! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh my god! It's my drawer. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing is, you know that he's another one. You know, he, he he was an anti-masker, too. They're all anti-maskers. Yes. And dare I say, may I, <laughs> that Matt Gates, we didn't hear anything about his uh, his son. His son. And I probably, Nestor. Nestor. Nest- yeah, but why didn't we hear anything? We never heard anything because he's not his son, first of all. And second, we adopted we, him. He, he, he tweeted two pictures of him at supper time said, here's a fifth grader at a local school. Didn't say his name. Didn't say he lived with him. Nothing. Or like an eighth grader. And did he so adopted? No, it's this, it was a long time oh, ago. Oh, this was a long time ago. Now the guy's grown up. And he just yes. said this is well, an eighth grader. Make sense. He no, didn't even name his name. He actually right. didn't know him. And then a different time he said, right. here's a, here's a, like a congressional So he's had piece. him since he was a minor? Yes. Now, dare well, that's I, may the shady I? Thing. The plot yes. sickening. Yeah. Yes. And these are all their opinions. I'm just commentating here. <laughs> Go ahead. But the fact is, that we never heard. Now he had that public thing about here's a fifth grader and now here's a um, 
an uh, intern on my staff. Yes. Here's this young man who's an intern. What a wonderful kid. Okay. And it happened to be the one he adopted. Yeah, but did he ever fit? Did he adopt him? I didn't know if he ever officially adopted I'm not sure he officially adopted him, but maybe he did. I don't know. We will fact check that. However, but does it matter? They're living together. Yeah, <laughs> does it doesn't matter. But the thing is he that he in. came out. The reason, in my opinion, Julie Goldman's opinion, that he <laughs> came out with that son is because it was during the time of all that immigration shit. And he, oh, he was afraid that it was going to come out that he had adopted an immigrant. A, he was he has an, an, uh, an immigrant son. And B, he was trying to play the opposite side and spin, how dare you say that I'm oh, from yeah. a white supremacist? How dare you I'm say that I don't care about... Look, and let me show you my token immigrant side Correct. that I adopted. That I yeah. have sex with yeah. the <laughs> Exactly. That's right. So... <laughs> And not for nothing, and if it is, you know, I mean... Brendan, you're tape recording all this, or you <laughs> don't fall in the pool. All the evidence. Do you think we're crazy? Are we going to get in trouble? I'm starting to shake like I have a... <laughs> if the camera's shaking, well, it's Brendan's nerves. We can edit anything. <laughs> right. No, we Dicey. don't care. It's just yeah, my like opinion, just and, he got to, and he got to fight with people on Twitter who had said, that's your yeah. boyfriend, and how dare you, and blah, blah. And then that guy, that guy, as grotesque as he is, what he is great at, and the Republicans are great at, are taking the fight to a level where they spin it around and use your yeah. words to use yeah. against you. Yeah. Wow, Matt Gates, is that your boyfriend? Why would you disparage the LGBT community and this say such things that that's disgusting that I would do, you know, and why is being gay disgusting and blah, blah, blah. You know it's what? Like, they want the power so bad that they've come up with a formula of how to keep it because they're a minority party for sure. So they can't legitimately win and hold on to power. So they have to somehow get the power and that's how they do it they have this formula now that trump has taken to the next level everything's projection whatever they're saying whatever they're accusing you of whatever they're doing is probably you know they're that's what they're doing yeah that's right what they're doing right yep. right right and they'll take what and there's never any responsibility there's never any self there's never any self deprecation there's never yeah. any um you know i'm sorry there's no, never no. any. any no, I've never Trump has never apologized for anything. If you notice, that's a new way of doing things in the Republican Party. The new Republican Party is you never apologize for anything. He's really changed the party because I think that, you know that's the other thing he's bragging about is seventy plus million votes. There's about eighty five percent of those people that are going to vote Republican, whether it's Trump or the Bugs Bunny. They're going to just vote Republican. Period. Yep. So what he did do was he was able to bring on another certain amount of people, whatever that number is, 2 million, 10 million, 15 million, or 1 million, whatever that is, of people either that didn't vote or that are voting because they want America to be white again and they want America to be first again and they want those guns with the assault weapons. Remember yep. Ted Cruz putting that bacon on that assault weapon and shooting it and showing you how to fry bacon by, with the, with the uh, you know, the machine gun. <laughs> And that wow. was his commercial when he was running in Texas. So they, they did, he did suck in a bunch of new blood. And so these Republicans are scared of him because they think he has all this power. He doesn't, what they're not realizing is probably about 80, 85% of those people are going to stick with the Republican Party no matter what. Yeah. So they're going to lose maybe a certain percentage of those fringe people that probably don't donate and only voted because it was Trump. So now they've created this monster and they are stuck with it. And yeah. they are they don't know what to do. They're already this this new little coalition of the QAnons and the Trumpers and them, they're already chanting and GOP, get rid of the GOP, get rid of the GOP. Now they're having they're making death threats against Republicans. The Republican governor in Michigan because he wouldn't change the vote or throw it out or yeah. do this or that. The Secretary of State, they're starting to give death threats to their own people. They're like it's a circular firing squad. What are they going to do? How, I mean, I don't understand what they're going to do in the future. Who's, well, no one's going to step Rick Wilson into officially field. left. I, I love him. He did, and so did Steve Schmidt. Officially. And then yeah. the Lincoln Project put out a I thing that, that their entire project yeah. won't go back to Republican. Well, like they, what do you mean? That they, they're they, never going to support another Republican until they, right. they extinguish Trumpism and the the fight against democracy is what they're saying. Like they're, they're, They say there's only two parties. One pro democracy and one not pro democracy, and they're going to support the pro democracy power, and that happens to be the Democrats. So there's nowhere to go. Does that scare Mucci too? Yeah, well, 
Was he in the underwriter? I thought he was. But. I don't know. Maybe he's a consultant or something. I don't know. I mean, we take all of it with a grain of salt, and everyone's, you know. Well, we do that's now. Fine, but, but, you know, here they're ordering new body bags in California. Yeah. They're ordering new ice trucks for the dead bodies mm. because they don't have, because this thing got out of control. Remember, it started because Kushner didn't want Trump to bail out the, quote, blue states. All right, because that's not the government's. But of course the blue states were hit first because New York and California are where everybody travels from all over the world. They fly into New York and they fly into California, whether it's from Asia mm-hmm. or wherever, or if it, whether it, it's from Europe. So that's what why those two places got on fire. So they thought it was a blue state disease. Or a uh, pandemic. Which is already... And they don't want to fund it. So while we're shutting down for six weeks, <laughs> the red states are out there going, yep. it's a hoax, it's a democratic hoax, you're not going to hear a word about it after November the 4th. And then they got it spreading, and now it's it's everywhere out of control. Out of control. Because it's not like this everywhere else. We no. have 4% of the world's population, and like, was it 20% of the infections and deaths? Oh, my God. LA County has, has more coronavirus cases than... You know, half the countries, yeah. are, you know, yeah. in the world. If you add them all up together, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So then there's that. And what else is going on in the news? What else do you girls want to gossip about before we wrap up? <sighs> well, I feel like on the on MSNBC, I haven't seen a lot of, of coverage of the protests going on in D.C. when Trump sort yeah. of, when, when the Electoral College voted. Yeah. There was all these big protests, supposedly. I read about it, but yeah. I never saw it at all on No, the they, they're, the new. I mean... Did you guys see it on the news? No, but they said it was a million dollar march, and then apparently it was a couple of thousand people. Oh, apparently. right. The one, the people that were, they, the the people said that they were doing a million yeah. man or a million Person. Trumper right. march and against. It turned out to be a couple of thousand right. people or like whatever. Like all the, which is, who's causing all the trouble? This is another thing how they do. We're Antifa. The oh, terrorists. Yes. Who are the terrorists? All of the murders, all of mm-hmm. the assault weapons, all of the marching where they're beating people up and killing them and death threats are coming from these Trumpers. Yep. They're not coming from anywhere. And people's not even an organization. It's a belief system. Yeah. An anti-fascist is a belief system. Which is what's so <laughs> hilarious that they're even they able to it. take right, yes. they're even, even able to take Antifa, which is yes. anti-fascism. Yeah. Now I'm not into, you know, take your yeah. Whatever, burning your trash cans at Berkeley. I mean, literally, Antifa, that's what they're burning the trash at Berkeley and making it impossible for people to come speak. Okay, fine. They're annoying. They're annoying. They're annoying. But they're not But dangerous. they're against anti, they're anti-fascists. And they have turned that into, <laughs> it's so they're stupid. terrorists. When the real terrorists, that kid that they went out and shot those three yes. people and one died in Kenosha, yep. is now a cult hero. And I, I wouldn't, if, if he, if it were federal crime, Trump would probably pardon him. Who do you think he's going to pardon? Oh, yeah. Let's do you think he's going to pardon him? Himself. Yes, or step down and have his ego so big. I don't know if he'll step down and have to pardon him. He might be the type that'll pardon himself and bank on the fact that the Supreme Court will back him up on it. Yeah, you well, know, you're a legal expert, not know. just because of Roy on your, in your own right. <laughs> so if he pardons himself, that doesn't just the can't um, the Southern District of New York still well that he's him got later? the state he's got the state charges that he can't pardon himself okay on. and what I heard today is if he can't pardon Manafort so what he's got the state charges but he's talking about pardoning his family yep. Jared Kushner's family including the father Manafort he already oh, did Stone um, uh, Flynn, Flynn, he did he did Flynn. Flynn he did Flynn is out today calling for martial law <laughs> in the swing states. To make people vote all over again. So he wants to call out the army, shut down the cities, take everything to the streets with gunfire, with the army, and make them make everybody re-vote again. This is Flynn. This is the guy that Obama uh, warned him about and said, be careful with Flynn, that he appointed. Yeah. And dare I, as right and may I say, national security advisor. <laughs> yeah. Right and, away. And dare I, may I again <laughs> interject. <laughs> interject. Um, for every one of the Trump people who is yelling and screaming about communism and yes. socialism and all of this stuff and Russia and yeah. blah, 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 what's funny is that you are actually in the playbook of the Russian, yeah. of what happened yeah. in Russia and why yeah. there is communism yeah, and so why there is, too. yes, you are playing into They're playing Lenin them. and Stalin and all yeah. of those guys. Yeah. And yeah. The, Dictators. You, you are playing yeah. into that. They're gonna. They want to go You're from doing democracy that. to autocracy, and then they'll go on, keep going down that path. And, and and that's the craziest thing about the Cubans in Miami. 
they're all like, well, we don't want to be a socialist country. Only for the rich. We want to just be a socialist for the country for the rich. But that's what a, a socialist country compared to, like, you're willing to let a guy steal an election, overthrow an election to stay in power? And you don't think that's, like, the most important thing in the world right now? You're worried about somebody getting food stamps so you can call them socialists? I don't understand. Right, I just exactly. Don't understand and yet you'll, you'll take the bailout, though. Yeah. You'll take whatever bailouts be yeah, to you. Or tax cuts. Or tax cuts. And you'll take Social Security. And, then, and, and you'll, you'll take, take the free health care. And then the problem is the one that needs to go. Oh, if you look is. at all those programs that were started, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, all those were Democratic social programs. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It's not socialism. We all no. pay into that. Yes. It's our money. They're yes. saving our money yes. for when we get old or have a rainy day. It's our money. The next generation's putting their money in, and we're using it, and the next generation will put their money in, and then the other people will use it. It's not the government bailout. It's our money. Yeah, we're they, putting it into them. People don't want to pay taxes. They don't want to pay into those programs. No. They, no, but they want a hospital. They want roads. They sure do. Right. They want the air traffic they controllers they and the airline they, store. They don't know what socialism is, no, they and they don't know what communism is, and no. they don't know and what... They're dicks. They're dicks. They're dicks. They're no, they are dicks. They're dicks. They're No, they don't. Some so um, get a well, book. I kind of hope he he does pardon himself yeah. and oh. his family yeah. because it's so <laughs> atrocious it's and rotten. Let's get about a, a, a pardoning his and financial advisor that did his books in New York. Oh, I mean, he's gonna have, he's gonna pardon Ghislaine Maxwell before yeah. it's all said and done, yeah. and they're yeah. gonna be pariahs. He might. I mean, I would surprise. I want to see surprised. all of it just so that they can yeah. be. In but you know what? Honestly. He doesn't even know what they're pardoning, pardoning them for yet. He's just being. He He's going to give a blanket get... pardon because he knows that they've done a bunch of stuff they shouldn't have done. What did you do today? a blanket pardon? Did you hear that? Well, that's a legal question that people are debating right now. But he's. I think he's confident enough that he can convince enough supporters to support it and that he's got these seats on the Supreme Court that he can convince them that he's just going to go all out. He's a, he, a dollar, you know, it's like a pe penny in a pound, you know, you're in. He's in it. He's so twisted in his thinking. And anybody anybody else would have an amendment 25 by now because if you can't accept that, if you're delusional enough to believe there's not an epidemic of COVID and people aren't dying, and if you're delusional enough to believe you won an election that you lost, by six states and hundreds of thousands of votes. If you're that delusional, if you're delusional to think you're never going to hear about the virus again once the election happens, if you're that delusional, you should not be in mm -hmm. the White House. No. I mean, and then today and they, they, discover, they discover Kushner set up this this other company with, uh, forget, like three or four, like, forget, 30 or $40 million or whatever, that they were funneling money into this, like, company out of Delaware with these people. What? And it turns out that the nephew of Pence was on one of one of the people oh, in the company. Wow. Shocking! And they're putting this money in there, and they're using it for the campaign and whatever else. And now he's raised two hundred million dollars. But Hunter. But Hunter. But Hunter. But Hillary's emails. But Hunter. But Hunter. But Hunter. You know what? Joe Biden Hunter. should just rug off the bat and say, "You're pardoned because they're going to drift this <laughs> for four <laughs> years. Yeah. It's going to be the Hillary email. It's going to be the Hunter problem for four years, and we don't want to hear about it." You know, the statute of limitations is not up, so we're going to fire you for four years. No, if they sure. want to come after you in five, that's fine. But we're not going to have our administration spend all of our time yeah. doing what Hillary's own administration or her campaign had to do, which is fight off a of bogus email thing. We're not doing that for four years. Are you excited about Susan Rice? I am. I'm excited about the entire cabinet. I love everyone. Um, I love Pete Buttigieg. Remember, we got all dressed up. <laughs> yeah, Pete, where's, where's Leah's money, Pete? Where's Leah's money? <laughs> We have paid to go to a fundraiser. We drove her there. We tried to lurk in to Ryan Murphy's house. Yep. We want Leah's money back, Pete. And we didn't get in because it wasn't a party. It wasn't happening. They changed the day. And I'm always the last to know. No, Ryan Murphy's know. coming home from work. Oh, he was an attache case. case. But you guys like, got to see him. I mean, oh my god, I didn't like, know what he looked like, and they're all excited about it. I'm like, okay, it was, that was hilarious. The yeah. cabinet is, is <laughs> really the cabinet's cool. exciting. The cabinet, cabinet yeah. is exciting. He's got two or three black women, he's got yeah. a gay guy, he's got a ton of women on there, he's women. got a uh, Native American on there, he's got Hispanic women on yeah. there, he's got he's built his whole communications. Whole women. thing is all women. Yep. Yeah. You know, women are not warmongers. They want to make peace, and they, they're diplomats. They want, you know, you're a diplomat. In your home, you have all these factions. You have to organize them and get everybody right. getting along. That's who they are. Yep. Men are like, let's pull a gun! Tell them how it's going to be! Dick's <laughs> <And laughs> <all laughs> <the> <laughs> 
about the women that have been in there. Like yeah. all the gross, like you, starting from a Vaughn down, McKaylee, oh, Manak, and then you God. look at so what Sarah oh, Huckabee oh, do. Oh my God, Sarah Huckabee oh, Sanders. Just grown man. Like, we were women oh, in there too. Down. We were women in there too. Come on. All those women, you're right. They're all just so, they're oh, awful. we're going to go from trash to class. Can you yes. imagine the staff of the White House, yes. how they're just like, Good, oh, yeah. Ridded. They're gonna have sage. They're gonna have white yep. sauce. Yes, and, and, and they need the I sage. Just, You're right. Yeah. We should send a box oh, of sage there. Like God, just, that's hilarious. Yeah. Now they're dogging up uh, Jill Biden because she has a PhD in education. Oh, that, Jonathan Epstein needs to die. I that's mean, his, think that's again about Julie this. Goldman saying that. But can you imagine that this is this no, is like I can't. I mean. The Wall Street Melania Journal. Has, I can't have, they have nude uh, photos of paper. Melania feeling herself off and other women off. <laughs> they have <laughs> her lying about her education. They say she, talking about all these languages she speaks, but everywhere she goes, they have to have an interpreter. I have like Einstein a visa. Yeah, Einstein visa. I don't know. I speak <laughs> you four read the book. You read the it book. Like she's yeah, Stephanie's book. book. Stephanie, what, what's her name? Stephanie Whitlock or something. Ste- Stephanie or is so good. I'm confused with the name, but it was just so, anyway, it's so good. Yeah. But, you know, so they're dogging her for having a PhD in education. Are you kidding me? Oh, how many hours you put in to get a PhD? She's the epitome of class. She, she, she still know. teaches community college. She's pro, like, public school. She Julie teaches- and I applied for college. We're going to try to go via Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to her yes. class. She's just so Are you great. Really? I want to. I, I want have to, to too. Not we should do it. Go I know. We, want to we so should bad. do but, it. But, you know, it's just so gross that it's so like coming out of nowhere, dogging her for being a PhD. They, these guys. The Wall Street Journal, they need to be put on blast. And they're LA so Times classy. You know, they're just such a classy family, yeah, you know. And they're. they've been through so much. And for them, I mean, of all the things to pick on, they, they, they're picking on that. Right. I, it's like, right. You know I, who I feel bad for, too? I look back at Hillary. She warned us about everything. She warned about Russia. She warned about Russia's puppet. She warned about. She warned us about everything. Yeah. And because she's a woman, and there's so many misogynists, and because she was a powerful woman, and people hate women in power, a big percentage of people do, she didn't really stand a chance. And then they took that email thing, which everybody in Trump's administration is using private email service right now. Ivanka, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. Jared, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all of them. Oh, they're full back channels as you well. Know? And they've got oh, yeah, oh, and their apps, channels. their yeah. apps back channels. And, and nepotism. Oh, yeah. They do everything they're doing with Hunter. They're everything. It's just Every, and, then, and they made such a big deal. And then remember, Trump said on tape to uh, Woodruff that um, if it weren't for him, Khashoggi would have been in a lot of trouble. I mean, the guy that murdered the, yeah. you know, the Turkish Prince, or, the SLB Prince or whatever. That killed, uh, yeah. killed Khashoggi. Yeah. had him murdered and and his body put into a million pieces. Mm-hmm. He would have been in a lot of trouble if it wasn't for me. I saved his ass, is what Trump says. And I mean, <laughs> and the Republican Party's like, that's cool. He's a president of America and he's a Washington journalist and they, they dismembered him. But you know what? We're going to sell those $10 million in arms and we need to make that money. And how much of that kickback do you think is going to wind up? Why is Trump appeasing Russia and Saudi Arabia so much right now? Because he knows one day he's going to be in private. Practice oh, again. He's made already so and much he's money. already made so much money. And, and he's made Kushner and the rest of them. And yep. He was in power for one thing, money. And that's the, the only reason that he, he was even able to be reasoned with. They gave him a bunch of, probably snuck yeah. a bunch of drugs yeah. into his Diet Coke and his freaking <laughs> McDonald's. And they put him down and then they told him, we're going to make you a bunch of money. And he's just like thinking money. Yeah, that's money, the only reason money, he's money, even money. Yeah. Yeah. thinking about leaving. Because he's just... Raping all of his followers for yep. all their and extra now they're all dollars. sending yep. their money in. It's just yeah. unbelievable. Well, I hope that with the new administration, not only is the Trump administration going to be gone, I think it's going to be good for the country and for all of us. And not to, you know, just in regards to Hillary, the Cl- it's the it's time for the Clintons to go. Like the Clintons, it's time for the they're, tor- they're, for a new generation. Yes, leadership. The, the, they're, they are also are have a shady stain, and we're, with the good, the bad, and the ugly, with all of it, it's like it's time for them to go, the Trumps the, to go, the, and the, the new the connection of making money off philanthropy yes, yes. or public office yes. to go. Yes. But I will say yeah. this: Bill Clinton was one of the best presidents we've ever had in, people, in the country, in the world. I left, it, paid down a deficit, and I left a, a surplus. No, got rid of the salt band weapons. I mean, you know, Ruth he did a lot. Ruth, yeah, Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Bader Ginsburg. He did her, right. and that's everything. Yeah. We hope, yeah. Well, yeah. hopefully with these people, it's going to be a time of, and oh, we had it with Obama, yeah. but now we'll have it again. I hope that yeah. it, like, flushes 
regardless, just with people who are just purge good, everything, yeah, just people, people who are yeah. just, or at least try. And at also, least try. you know, uh, Biden has said all along, I'm going to be a transitional candidate. And he's proving his point. He's putting young people yep. and he's putting diverse people yep. in his cabinet. Yep. And he's proving that every single day. Yep. Well, you gave us the idea. We want yeah. we we want to go. We're trying. My birthday is January nineteenth, so it's always on the inauguration. So we want to wow. go to the inauguration. But now I'm thinking, if we go, you're like, we're I'm asking every congressman to get us tickets. But we're going to take a b- box of sage and walk through the streets <laughs> with sage. I mean, that's for sure. Yeah, well, I saw wives yeah. Yeah. spray it all down. All right, well, we've had fun, so I guess it was all all politics all the time today. <laughs> so I guess we should say good night, but uh, happy happy holidays, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy get rid of COVID, everybody. But meanwhile, <laughs> I think Melania should just sign us off for the night. Are you happy to tell us? Oh, that's what? right. Well, you know it's what? also for everyone to know that in the, in the year 2021, we've decided the theme. Oh, our theme for 2021 is Forever 21. <laughs> Forever twenty one. <laughs> Forever twenty one. You know, and I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> forever twenty one. That's me, Melania. I am yeah. also forever twenty one. And so is my boyfriend. <laughs> His name is Josiah. He's from Australia. He's manly, masculine man. Muscles everywhere. He's so good. So I look forward to him soon. Mm-hmm. So, oh, goodbye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Happy Forever 21. Happy. Enjoy the White House Tennis Pavilion. Countdown, like 30 something more days. Yes. yes. Still inauguration. Randy's birthday. Yes. <laughs> okay, what? Go listen to Dumb Gay Politics along with Life of Lira. Bye. Oh, my God. Now, glutathione is a big word, but it's the body's own master antioxidant. Oh, it's a scavenger for free radicals, for bacteria, and what's relevant now, viruses. This is new to the marketplace. There's no other product on the market that has the ingredient NASET. And basically NASET increases the production of that glutathione that is in our body already to strengthen and and enhance our our immune system and keep it strong. Elevated sense of well-being. Supports muscle strength and endurance. Cognitive function. Powerful liver support. energy, helps blood sugar regulation, superior bioavailability of key ingredients, one of your best defenses against COVID Mm -hmm. is a strong immune system. Taking GSH Plus as a daily supplement does all that. we have the product out on the market.